Hello everybody, this is Fernie Till Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 3. Uh, been a little bit since the last, since last one I've done one of these videos. Uh, and today we're going to be taking another look at the Yellowstone Mountain and Central Railroad. Yes, I'm sure you guys remember, will remember very well when this route first came out last year. Uh, but I've now decided to make an updated review to this route because, uh, well mainly because the, uh, the rolling stock inclusion... Uh, was actually incorrect in my uh, in my first video, and they've also added a couple of things that also weren't in the original release as well. So um, yeah, I'm doing an updated review of this route to give you a more accurate representation of what you get with this route, and also I guess it's a bit of a celebration of uh, one year. Well, it's a bit more than that year now, but one year since this route came out and became uh, one of my most successful videos in the whole history of my channel. So, as I've stumbled over my words, let's take a look at everything they get here in the Yellowstone Mountain and Central Railroad route here in Train Simulator 3. But before we do that, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. Alright, so as you can clearly see, this route is basically a Union Pacific route. Um, so we have three Union Pacific locomotives plus some Union Pacific rolling stock. Uh, first up here, we have a shunting engine, the Union Pacific S. W10. Yeah, so yeah, shunting engine. Um, you can actually get this locomotive in a few different uh, routes now. Oh, uh, this was the first time. I believe this route was the first time this locomotive uh, was featured in a um, in a train three route. This was actually quite weathered. It's actually, uh, I think they actually listed this as weathered in the uh, in the locomotive list. Um, so yeah, SW10 with a lot of weathering. Alright, there you go, the Union Pacific SW10. Let's take a look at the interior cab. Uh, and yeah, I do believe this is a unique cab for the, um, for this locomotive. Uh, details aren't modeled the best, although I think this is an older model, so, um, yeah. So the detailing isn't up to the highest standard, but it's still pretty all right. Yeah. All right, now let's move the horn and ring the bell. Yeah, it seems a pretty loud horn, doesn't it? Very interesting bell as well. Also, I like how my game volume is now going up. Yeah, it seemed like my uh, my game volume was actually pretty quiet when I started this. I think that's because, of course, there's a uh, there's weird sound glitch in this game, and it fixes itself when you go inside a train. So, yeah, now we're back to full volume. All right. All right then. Uh, we also have some new Pacific uh, rolling stock. Uh, once again, these box cars are included in a few other add-ons. No, although they made their debut here in this bout. Uh, so here we have a, here we have a trio of 50 foot uh, Union Pacific box cars in uh, three different liveries. This first one is in the uh, SXPD livery. So it's got like gray all around with some yellow sprinkled in here and there. Mainly the sides. All right. Up next, we have the XYT uh, livery. This one's got more, a lot more yellow on it. Only the uh, the roof is gray. And finally, we have the YXPD livery, which is basically inverted. The uh, roof is now yellow, but there's a lot of other bits on it that are gray. So there's the first line of equipment. All right, now we go from a small engine to a big engine, if the game would work correctly. Uh, this is the ES44AC big engine, very long as well. I think this is actually, uh, yeah, now we're onto something that's actually more exclusive. I believe this is the only route where we can get this look woven, this livery. Um, now, I actually made a mistake in my uh, in my first video on this route, where I also include a version 
that was in a uh, BNSF war bonnet paint scheme. Uh, print, uh, but it turns out that locomotive was actually included in a different route. Uh, and with this while you only get the ES44AC in the Union Pacific livery, which of course makes sense. Uh, but here you go then. ES44AC in Union Pacific livery. How about that? All right, let's take a look at the interior. And it is a custom cab of sorts. Actually, I think it's custom. Well, I don't know. It's it's close enough, I guess, to what this slope move actually have. Have. It's about the same level of quality as the uh, SW10, but still pretty decent enough. Yeah. How about that? Alright, so the horn and bell. Another loud horn indeed. Oh, the bell though is quite bizarre. I don't know if it really suits this locomotive. I think an engine like this would have more of like an E-bell of sorts. And, I mean, well, that sounds like an E-bell. Um, Alright, up next we have some hopper cars. Um, so these are the BPRR Four Bay Hopper multi versions. Now uh, these hopper cars are also pretty common here in Train Smart Three. There's a lot of routes they can get these hopper cars in. And actually, uh, the strange part is that there are hopper cars um, that are included in this base game that are basically exactly the same. Um, I don't know what the difference is between the uh, regular BPR hoppers they get with this game, as well as the uh, the multi versions that you get with certain DLC routes. So, yeah. And there's actually another error that I made in my uh, original uh, review because I initially thought that you just got a bunch of BPR hoppers with this route, but no, the uh, the regular ones I guess are are actually included in the base game, and there's also these multiverses which are included um, only in well in certain deals. Well, yeah, okay. There's the default ones, and then there's the multiverses which are included in various different American add-ons. Um, yeah, like I said, BPR, these hoppers, like I said, not exclusive to this add-on. They are in quite a few American routes here in Trains 3. Of course, you get four different liveries, which is just one, two, three, four. So you have, like, um, so you basically have, like, a, a black livery with some beige lines on it for some reason. They have a black one, which is just all black. Then there's a red one, and you also get this blue one, which has a black spot on it as well. Um, and these wagons, or these wagons, these hoppers are loadable, although only if you drive, like, underneath a co-op or something. Um, unfortunately, you can't preload them in the, uh, in just using, like, the properties thing, but Jake, because, of course, we still haven't got the surveyor in this game. Um, but I do believe you can load these up from the, under, like, a co-hopper or something. Alright, uh, I'm nearly done with the, uh, freight equipment. Up next, we have another Union Pacific engine, which is the... SD 40-2, so yeah, SD 40-2 in Union Pacific livery. Um, now I should say, there's actually a few different Union Pacific SD 4-2s here in this game. Uh, there's the really nice Pro Trade one, as well as a different one, which I think comes in like the Port Center route. And this, of course, is a version that I believe is exclusive to the uh, to this route, the Yosemite Mountain Central Railroad. Yeah, it's not quite as nice as the uh, the Pro Trade one, obviously. Um, I think if you want, like, uh, an actually, like, you know, a really good version of the SC4-2 here in Transfer Union Pacific livery, there's, of course, the Pro Trade one, which you can get in, uh, uh, I forget where. There's, there's a route or two where you can get it in, but this route comes with, uh, not the Pro Trade one, but an older version, which isn't quite as good, but still looks fun, I guess. Into your cab, well, at least the cab has been, uh, upgraded to the, uh, I guess the standard... SC4-2 cab. And actually, hang on a minute. I think this cab is a bit different from the uh, from the GP3-2. Did they change the cab in this one? Or am I crazy? I'm not sure. But yeah, regardless, here is of course the cab of the SC4-2. I think this is the only cab in this add-on that's actually up to the uh, you know modern day train standards. There you have it. Oh, is the uh, out outside? Oh, the outside's all black. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is taken from the uh, from the Southern Pacific SC40T or something. That might be why. 
Uh, but yeah, there you go. Cab of the Yum Civic SC4 S2 here in this route. Alright, so the horn. Yeah. Bell is pretty quiet, but at least it sounds realistic. Alright, two more bits of rolling stock. Uh, first, we have the uh, DES flat car 53 foot in the Union Pacific livery. Uh, once again, this this uh, flatbed is actually pretty commonplace now here in various trains uh, for train series add ons. Uh, this one is loadable, but only with the. Um, I just think this might be. They must be loadable with the route. But yeah, you can't put loads on this, but of course I can't because. Again, no surveyor still. And finally, another pretty common item. Uh, the uh, Prox 20,800 gallon tank car. Again, this is a pretty common item here in Train 3 uh, routes. And here it is in this one. And there you go. So that is all of the freight equipment, of course. However, you may have noticed this is here. And, uh, oh, there's one more thing as well, which I'll get into just a bit. But, um, yeah, you also get this. Um, so, uh, yeah, Amtrak P42 with the Superliner coach. Now, it's funny. Um, these two items were actually not in this route when it first released. These were added in an update soon after. I actually covered this. Well, I actually covered this a couple times. I actually covered this locomotive uh, in my, uh, one of the uh, the German routes, I think the one with the uh, the green coaches, the, uh, the the pigtail line. That's what it was. And I also did a completely separate uh, supplemental video on this locomotive uh, because you also get um, a different version or a different road number of this in a different. I think the uh, Marias Pass, but yeah. But here it is in the uh, Yellowstone route. So this here is the uh, Amtrak. Well, as you can already tell, the Amtrak P four two DC number one hundred. And yeah, this is not a uh, this is not the uh, the 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 good one they get on the uh, the down station, the one made by uh, uh, Jointed Rail. Um, this is actually an older uh, P forty two model here in trains, which uh, which you may actually remember from Train Simulator two. Um, yeah, this is basically a port of that. So, um, and yeah, it is included here in the Yellowstone route. Um, Wait, am I crazy? Is, are those third rail shoes on this thing? Oh, uh, I think that's those. I think those are third rail shoes. Which, why? That's that's for the P thirty two, not the P forty two. I don't know. <laughs> and even the texture in this thing isn't that good. Yeah, this is a pretty. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not a good model at all. The P forty two. Like, if you want a good quality P forty two to drive here in Transmer three, just get the jointed rail one on the uh, down station or console store. It's much better than this thing. Um, and with it, you get a Superliner coach, uh, the um, uh, the Superliner two coach number three four one two zero. Um, and you may also remember this from trains too. And yeah, because this was added later on, I don't, I'm not even sure if you're gonna see this in the um, in any of the scenarios of the free drive thing. So uh, <laughs> this is kind of a pointless inclusion. I just realized. Yeah, because since these two things were added after the route released. Yeah, you're not gonna see either like either this Amtrak stuff in the um in the free in the free drive mode or the um or the uh the prescripted scenarios. Do this get an interior view, which is actually pretty nice. So here's the interior of the Superliner 2 coach. So yeah, kind of pointless inclusions concerning you won't see them. Yeah, really all you can do with these is just put them down on free drive mode and you could make your own scenario, I guess, but we still haven't got the uh, survey for that. Alright, and finally, something that you remember from the original uh, release. This, of course, is the hand car. Yes, that is right. There is a drivable hand car included in this route, which I believe is still exclusive to this route. Um, yeah, now this particular hand car, uh, you cannot find it in any other route here in Transmer 3. This is the only one, so... That noise. I don't know this what's going on, but yeah. If you really want a a hand car here in Train Smart Three, um, I think there's actually a variant of this though, maybe in a different route, but this specific one is included in this one. So by any chance, this kind of pulls, but does it have a horn? Nope. 
It doesn't. Okay. What's the cabview look like, by the way? Oh, there's no cabview. Okay, well, it is drivable. Actually, we can drive it now. Yeah, there you go. I gotta go into realistic mode. Right, there you go. Very quiet, but yeah, he just he's making squeaky noises, but yeah, there you go. You get a drivable hand car in this route here in Transfer Three. How cool is that? Yes. I can hear a bear now, but very fast. I gotta say. Uh, but there you go, then. You get a drivable hand car here in Transformer 3. That's the points we're going. And there you have it. I was going to start the video from this single here. Um, there you have it, though. That is everything for real this time they get here in train, or in this route here in Transformer 3. Um, yeah, there you go. List of everything. So, um, yeah, I think I get the idea now. This is everything they get with this route. So... Now, let's take a look at these scenarios and then do some driving. Alright, so here are all these scenarios they get. You get the usual bunch of uh, free drive scenarios in several different environments. And you get four pre scooter scenarios. You get cold transport, goods delivery, iron ore, and limestone transport. Now, of course, we have goods delivery, uh, but we did that scenario in the, in the last video that I did uh, last year. So this time, we'll be doing iron ore. Um, so yeah, so in this task, you will drive from Harper's Rest to White Mountain, iron mines to load, and do a bunch of other things. All right, basically driving the, uh, the shunting engine in this scenario. So, let's get to it. Uh. All right, today it is your task to drive the small SW-10 backwards to the mine. As soon as all the wagons are loaded, uh, you will uncouple the SW-10 and drive to the steel company. All right. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, it wants us to drive somewhere, doesn't it? Wait, hang on. Actually, I suppose wasn't that clear with the instructions. Oh, wait, wait, here we are. Oh, it's right here in the morning. Let's turn on the headlights because we can see stuff. I guess we're going to the thing, and we are also dragging these guys with us. Okay. Oh, wait, weren't we? Wait. Hang on, there's a coupling thing on the on the HUD. Wait, what are we doing? I'm sure now this wasn't that clear with the uh, instructions. Okay, well, can we decouple these local moves at least? I guess it makes no sense to bring those with us. Yeah, all right, we'll just take the hoppers. Okay. Here we are then, the SW-10. I think I'm also turning the uh, junctions back on just so. Uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, we'll just leave the locomotives behind because we don't need to bring those with us. And yeah, for this scenario, we'll be driving the uh, the SW10 to sort of change things up a little bit because we. Um, in the last video I did, we drove the uh, AS44C4. On a sort of like a mainline service. Actually, that wasn't even mainline. Um. This 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 time, this time however, we'll be driving the SW10 shunting engine. Yeah. With the greatest horn in the world. Oh, hang on. You know it's this side. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why they gave it this horn. It's not very well recorded. <laughs> oh, we're we supposed to decouple the cars. Um, hang on. Does it want us to decouple the? Oh, it does. Well, why didn't you specify that before? Can we just leave them in the middle of the line? Hang on, where are we going? Actually, are there any signals on the route? Oh, I forgot to show you the route. Whoopsies. Well, there you go. That's the entirety of the uh, Yellowstone route. Unfortunately, there's still this dumb glitch where you just can't move the camera. Like, even, even, even if I were going into, like, the free roam camera, 
and then I zoom out to the uh, to the come on as well to the map view the camera just stays in place but yeah there's the entirety of the uh, of the Yellowstone route but I can't really give, give you guys a good uh, a good uh, look at it but yeah although I have driven on most of this route at this point in fact this um this iron ore factory that we're going to is actually um, the one part of the route that we haven't been to yet and yeah I don't think there are any signals on this part of the line so I'm going to take a risk and leave these guys here and we'll come back for them later all right let's go Or no, we still haven't got rid of that icon. Um, I think this scenario might be a bit broken because hang on, it wants to take this engine down to the uh, White Mountain Iron Mine, but it didn't specify like what to uncouple. There's some wildernessy noise going on here. All right, well, whatever. You know what? We'll just go down to the mine. Oh, speaking a little bit. Go down to the mine or go up to the mine, I guess. Do whatever we need to do there, and then we'll come back. All right, well, here we are then on the Yelsta Mountain and Central Railroad once again. Um, yeah, like I said in the uh, beginning, I decided to come back and redo, well, not really redo, but sort of, Take a second look at this route because, um, you know, like I said, the uh, the rolling stock offering was inaccurate in my first video. You know, there's a couple of things that I included when, you know, they weren't actually in this route. So uh, that's why I decided to sort of redo this in the, I guess, the new review format because, um, because after that video, I came up with a way of sort of getting more exact representation of what you had to get in these routes. So I've now done this. Well, I've now redone this video, this route review in this format. So now you guys get a more clear look at what you actually get in this add-on. There's actually not as much in here as I remember. I think that's because, um, well, back when this route came out, a lot of the stuff was exclusive to this route. But then, as they came up with more routes after this, uh, some of the stuff that was exclusive to this route started getting added. You know, the Union Pacific box car, that's SW10, the Union Pacific flatbed car. Um, so now this route basically comes with content that you could also get in other routes yeah um i guess one more thing i may as well mention like i said i've actually done uh two videos on this route actually uh there was the initial review that i did when i drove the es44 ac and then i did another video on this route driving the whole main line driving the uh jointed rail higher quality version of the m 3 p 42 with a line of supliner coaches because um well, because there were a couple of stations on this route, and I figured I would drive to them just for the fun of it. Bleh. So, I have already shown off most of, this route, most of this route here on this channel. Um, I think even today, well, it's funny. Today, we are we are going to see parts of this route that we still haven't seen on this channel. Oh, we have already seen most of this route, so... If there's a particular part of this route that you really want to see, I've already done a couple of videos on this route, so watch those if you want to see more of it. In fact, um, uh, on my uh, community post, I'm going to have a... Uh, well, I guess a direct link to my uh, other two videos on the Yosemite Mountain route. So I've now done three videos on this route. How about that? Um, yeah. And you know what? I am curious to see how many views this video will get since, you know, my first initial video on this uh, route was is actually uh, my most successful Transmer 3 video. Yeah. So this is kind of like a, a special occasion of sorts. Um... Oh, hang on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a second. There are no freight cars here. Oh. Wait, I'm just realizing now. <laughs> it wanted us to bring the hopper cars with us. Oh. <sighs> okay, well, there's an error. Um... <laughs> Yeah, they should have made that more clear that we were supposed to bring the hoppers with us, but didn't say that before, so, um... <sighs> okay, well, let's back up and try again. Okay, so here's the description. It says, your task is to drive the SW-10 backwards through the mine. As soon as all the wagons are loaded, you uncouple the SW-10 drive to the steel company. This is so strange. 
So, are we taking the wagons to the mine? And then... I don't know. Well, I guess... It, okay, so I'm guessing he wants us to take the, the freight cars with us. And then uncouple them and then go to... Where is the steel mine? Is it all the way over... Oh, I think it is. Hang on, I think the steel mine is like miles away. Uh, I wish this stupid map wasn't broken. Okay, whatever. Um... Although, should we take these engines with us, though? I kind of want to leave these behind just because... Okay, you know what? Never mind. We'll take the engines with us. We'll take the whole train with us. Fine. Okay. I, I was just getting confused, though, because they had that... Like, if you look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you see that blue icon? Which indicates that we had to uh, decouple the locomotive from the, uh, the, the car. But then it keeps following us. So yeah, I think what it wants us to do is take these hoppers to the coal mine, or the, the iron mine, I mean, not the coal mine. We take these hoppers to the mine, and then we uncouple the engine from the cars. And uh, I guess we want to leave these uh, those bigger engines with it, because eventually those big engines are going to take these hoppers to uh, wherever. Alright, whatever. Um, you know, what it really should have said was, um, was take these hoppers to the mine and then wait for the instructions or something like that. All right, well, we figured it out, so let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, though, good thing we didn't go too far into the scenario before I w uh, realized my error. Tell you what, though, it has been a while, though, since I actually failed this and I had to redo it. Although, to be fair, it wasn't my fault this time. Uh, because it didn't... The uh, scenario description didn't do that good of a job of actually telling me what to do. So I've had to kind of... Uh, guess, pretty much, and just assume that this will get... So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. But yeah, I think we don't have to drive too hard to get to the iron mine. Um, I guess I should talk a bit more about the Elsa Mountain and Central Railroad route. Um, so this route was actually kind of a, a landmark occasion out here in Transmer Three because this was the first ever route to feature Union Pacific. Um, in a uh, train to add on because before this route came out, there was no Union Pacific content whatsoever. Um, of course, that changed. Uh, well, it basically changed with this route. Um, you know, we got Union Pacific stuff. Um, and then, of course, um, more Union Pacific stuff was added to this game when we got the uh, Port Saturn route later in 2023. Um, and uh, no, no, Union Pacific continent since then, like I said, has, has since been sprinkled here and there in other train three routes. Um, but this is also a pretty big occasion here on the channel because, like I said, this was the... Um, yeah, as of right now, the original Yellowstone Mountain Essential Railroad route that I did back in 2023 is the most successful and most viewed video on Train Smart 3 that I've made. Um, yeah. That's funny, I actually made that video right after I was able to turn on monetization, so I was actually able to make some pretty decent money from that video. Um, in fact, I, w in fact, I actually managed to make enough money from that video to where I was actually able to make back the amount of money I spent on this route because I guess one thing one other thing worth mentioning um so this route Yellowstone Mountain and Central Railroad it costs six dollars you have to pay six dollars to get this route which I actually think is decent value because the route itself is actually quite long um in fact, in fact I guess if you want to get an idea of how long this route is um you know watch my uh, video where I drove the uh, that Amtrak passenger train on this route as well, I guess you could also watch the, the first video I did, because we also drove on a pretty decent part of this route in that video as well. So, yeah. And basically, now we're just driving on the leftovers. So, yeah, pretty big route. Um, I guess the wrong stock offering, I mean, it, I mean, it's funny. The wrong stock offering was actually pretty good value when this route first came out, but now that this stuff has been featured in other routes, eh, it kind of ruins the value a little bit. But overall, I do think this route is still worth the money, I guess. Um, although, okay, maybe it's a bit too bit too pricey now, but you know. <laughs> although, if I had to say which Union Pacific route I prefer between this one and the uh, Port Saturn route, 
I think I would actually prefer the uh, Port Saturn route over this one because Port Saturn, you get a lot more content in that one. Plus tugboats as well. Um, and that one's only $5, so I think the uh, Port Saturn route is actually better value. And you get so many more Union Pacific locomotives. Yeah. In fact, there was so much content included in that route that I actually had to do two videos on that one. Uh, the first of which where I was just driving a train on the route, and then I had to do another video where I actually show up the uh, content that you get. So, yeah, that was a pretty big deal. All right, well, now here we are about to arrive once again at the White Mountain Iron Mine. About to, um, I guess, unload. Or no, load, actually. No, <laughs> not unload, because we're already unloaded, but now we've got to reload. And I guess one thing worth mentioning, it's actually been a little bit since I've last done a uh, Trains 3 video. Um, last one I did was actually at the beginning of April when the uh, Chicago Metro route. I was wondering why I've waited so long to do another Trains uh, 3 video. Um, well, for a couple of reasons. Uh, well, we haven't really had any new content. In fact, that um, that's the Chicago Metro route that came out. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, now we got instruction. Okay, please load all the wagons with iron ore. You have to slow to load the wagons. Also, couldn't you have told me that before? Oh, yeah, the, the suit's right there. Okay. Oh, can we roll slowly, by the way? Or we're going to have to... Or we're going to have to stop here. Hopefully not. Actually, what's the highest speed we can go while still being able to load the things? Let's see. Let's do about five. Alright, let's see. Is this slow enough? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Perfect. Alrighty then. Okay, well, as we watch each of our heartbreaks get loaded with iron, I think the trains actually getting heavier now. Um, yeah, like I said, the uh, the most recent route to be released for this game was the um, uh, was the Chicago Metro route. Now we're kind of doing other videos, sort of. Fill in the gaps. And, uh, yeah. That being said, however, there is a, uh, a new route coming out soon, actually. Which I guess I'll talk more about once we actually finish up with uh, the Iron Ore. So, yeah, let's actually finish up with loading up the, uh, the Iron Ore and then I'll talk about um, other upcoming stuff. Yeah. This is actually pretty cool. So there you go, then iron ore. So yeah, these hypercars cars are loadable even in the free drive thing. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think we've actually done this before. This is cool. Yeah. All right. Nearly there. Five more to go, actually. All right, there's 11. Yep, there's 12. Alright, 13. Alright, 14. And one more to go. As they got the uh, other ends coming up. And there you go. Oh, and I'm going to stop here. Okay, good. Oh, that was cool. I don't think we've ever done that before, actually, in a Trains 3 video. Or any video, actually. Alright, let's actually um, come to a stop here. I'll talk more about what's coming up next once we uh, get on the road again. Okay, now we can decouple the SW10. Oh, well done. Now, continue with the local moves to the other side of the train. Please leave the mine towards Harper's Rest. Oh. Oh, we're having these guys again. Oh. Okay. Uh, the light's working. Yeah. Oh, I got beep the horn there. Um. There we go. Oh. Okay, good. Alright, let's go. Okay, yeah, so it turns out that you're not supposed to decouple anything. You're supposed to drive this entire train. Because actually, you drive the SW10. Up to the iron mine here, and then you get into the other of the train to the ES44 or C4. It doesn't take the hopper cars to the uh, Harper's Rest. Where's Harper's Rest, by the way? Oh, it's just up the road. Is that the whole scenario? 
No, it can't be. Huh. Oh, it wants to go to, it wants to, go to some sort of steel mine somewhere. Are right, we going to go back to the, um, to the SW-10 by any chance, or are we going to be driving these now for the rest of the scenario? I don't know. Guess we'll see. And it's funny, something I actually remember from, uh, from the original, or from my first video on this route, we actually drove, uh, we actually drove an ES-44, well, just, just the wolf here, for most of the journey, but then we switched over to an SW-10 for, uh, a brief amount of time to do a bit of shunting. Okay, so now we're going to take this train back up to Harper's Rest. Now, it did also say that we were going to uh, some sort of steel mill. Oh, hang on. Hang on, the speed's going up to 65. But wait, to go to Harper's Rest. I don't know what's happening. Alright, whatever. Actually, there's something else worth mentioning. Um, oh, yeah, we're about to get back on the road, which is good. Uh, something I should also mention, I was actually plan on, planning on driving the uh, SD40-2 uh, for this video they get with this route. Um, but it turns out that there are no scenarios for it. Yeah. Yeah, as far as I know, all of the uh, scenarios uh, for this route involve either the ES44C4 or the SW10, or both, actually, in this case. Uh, whereas the SD40-2, I guess that's more of a uh, AI locomotive. Um, yeah. Okay, now let's get back to what I was going to talk about beforehand. So, upcoming content. So, like I said, I haven't done a, uh, a Train Summer 2 video, or Train Summer 3 video, in about a month, because there hasn't really been much new content coming out, and because I also want to get some other videos out. Um, however, there is a, uh, a new route that I did come into Train Summer 3 pretty soon, uh, which actually was mentioned in the uh, in the Train's Discord server. Uh, it is the uh, Altoona Yard Shunting Route, thing of a jiggy. I forget the actual, I forget the exact name, but yeah. Uh, but a new alternative themed something about uh, will be coming uh, soon, and that's, it's actually going to come with a ton of locomotives, so that's yeah, going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, new route will be coming to Train Summer Three uh, very soon. Actually, in fact, I might actually I might even have the uh, the review for that uh, come out next Sunday. Um, yeah, and actually after that video, then we have a uh, British re-review, so. Yeah, after not having done a Trains 3 video in about a month, I will not be doing three Trains 3 videos uh, for the next three weeks on Sundays. So we've got this video, then we got the uh, the new Altoona route, and then following that will be a uh, British uh, re-review, which will be one of the two routes in the uh, the poll. Actually, as of when I'm recording this, uh, the uh, Scottish Highlands route is actually already quite far in the lead from Market Eastley, so Scottish Highlands will probably be the route that I uh, re-review... Um, soon so yeah uh, but of course next Sunday will likely be the uh, the new alternate uh, route unless the route doesn't come out next week in which case I'll do the uh, Scottish Highlands route next and then I'll do the um, the new route this is Scottish Highlands unless out of nowhere the uh, market easterly route uh, begins to lead in the poll I don't know <laughs> I guess for those of you who are curious about the poll um, the, uh, the poll will be closing, um, on the thir on the Thursday that I'll be recording the, uh, the video, so, that will either be next Thursday or the Thursday after that, depending on, uh, when the, um, when the, uh, the, 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 the new, um, American Mouth comes out. And yeah, let's see, we'll be going, we will be going to the main line, okay. So, huh, Interesting. I thought we were going to be driving the, uh, the SW10 for most of the session, but no, nah, I guess we were only driving the SW10 for the beginning bit. And now we're going to have the ES44C4 for the rest of it, so yeah. <laughs> that wasn't my intention, by the way. My original plan was to drive the SW10 for the entirety of this scenario since we've already driven the ES44C4 in a, um, in, well, in the last video, but um, nope, I guess we'll be driving it again for this video. Okay. Well, this guy's got some uh, SW10 gameplay. Actually, more than originally planned, because I messed up the first time and didn't know what I was doing. So, yeah, we actually, I guess it was kind of the, uh, the SW10 special of sorts. But now we're right back to driving the big engine. Yeah.
Um, also, I guess we're going to the steel mill now. That's interesting because, yeah, it said it wants to go, it wanted us to go to Harper's Rest. But, although there are AI trains, so, oh, I see that constant thing. That's where this, I think that's where the steel mill is. If this stupid map would work, I guess we're going up to there. Okay. Well, isn't that funny? Because it looks like we're going to be driving on a, uh, on the part of the road that we drove in the, um, the Amtrak video. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I should have made my own scenario for this. Well, I say maybe. <laughs> Could have done that if I had the uh, surveyor. That we still haven't. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to do another video on this route in the future where the entire the, 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 the uh, driving will be with the SW10, maybe. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we're going all the way now to um, the steel mill, which is actually going to be quite far away, actually. We're going to yeah, take us a little while to get there, actually. I'm going to speed limit as I'm now just in my, just in my seat. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Are we supposed to go on this track? Wait a minute. Are we on the right track? We're gonna be on the. Oh, let's get to this curve here. Oh wait, hang on. It's on this track. Uh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Are we gonna be on this? Oh wait, we are. Hang on. Oh. Now nah, my, we're going the right track. I noticed, I noticed we were going over that into like I thought to myself, are we going the wrong track? No, we're not. Okay, well, this the iron ore loaded up. Yeah. All right, how long then until we get to floor it? Okay, 65 is coming up. But yeah, maybe I'll make it like you know, maybe whenever the whenever they have the surveyor, I'll return to this route and we'll drive the SW10. Or actually, maybe we'll drive the SW10 into a different route. Hmm. Yeah, that could be interesting. Because I am going to... Well, I have put the uh, SW10 in the thumbnail. I promise this video isn't necessarily false advertising. It just sort of happened this way. Maybe that's why they don't tell you which train you're gonna drive when you jump into the scenario because it's kind of like it's a random one. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Well, whatever. Okay, come on. It's gonna go up. That's a limit of shunt. Okay, any day now. Come on. There we go. Speed. I'm gonna speed this up far, by the way. Oh boy, it's already 47 minutes long. <laughs> Borrowing a few bits I may have caught. It might actually be a bit less than that, but yeah, this is still gonna be a pretty long video as it turns out. Yeah, I was not expecting this video to be this long, but uh stuff happens, I guess. All that being said, if you guys don't seem to mind the long videos, you know, even when these videos are an hour or an hour or ten minutes long, you guys still watch most of it. So that's good. And yeah, um, I know I do post long videos quite frequently, but I kind of can't really help it because, you know, with the way that I do these gameplay videos, I like to show as much of what I'm doing um, as I can or as much as there is, you know, I don't really like to sort of like make jump cuts and skip over parts that may be important. I like to sort of, um, not do that. Because this is kind of a review that I'm doing here, and, um, and yeah, the main reason why I do these videos is, well, I say main reason, well, okay, I do these for a bunch of reasons, but one of the reasons that I do these videos 
is to just show you guys like all of like everything that you get so you can make like an informed decision of where you want to buy it or not. Also, while we're accelerating quite slowly, can we go into realistic mode and accelerate more quickly? No, in fact, the acceleration is exactly, exactly the same. Oh, it's a little bit more. Hang on. Nah, it's whatever. Nah, it's about the same. So yeah, we have yet another long, yet another long trains video. But like I said, you guys don't mind the long video, so alrighty then, I'll keep making them. Um, well, we're, this was actually quite interesting at the beginning when we were going to the lines of the iron ore, but now we sort of return to more familiar territory because I uh, drove this line, like I said in that other video, with the Amtrak train. Um. Although we haven't, I don't think we've gone to the steel mill yet, so it's going to be so new. But yeah, I suppose we're going to the steel mill, then that'll be the end of the scenario. I guess this will still be a pretty complete, uh, complete video if you haven't seen the original. This was actually pretty cool, though. Like, actually driving on it. Uh, well, another one on the main line. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I just wish they would fix the bugs with the map. Like, I was, I was hoping to... I was thinking to myself, maybe they fixed it now, since I haven't driven on this route in such a long time. Well, not since I did the Amtrak video. But, nope. Sadly, the map... The issues with the map are still there. Which, I don't know why that happens. Like, this is an issue with... Actually, this, this is an issue with a lot of the routes here in Transmart 3. Well, a lot of the uh, payroll ones. Anyway, where... If you go into the map... Um, like, if you go into the map, you, you can't zoom back down into the world. Like you would in, like, the default routes or a couple of the other payroll routes. But with this route, it's even worse. There's, there's actually an issue with this one that's, like, exclusive, where... Once you go to the map, you can't actually move the camera anywhere. You know, you're kind of just stuck, so... I don't know why that keeps happening, you know, I don't know if that's fixable or what, but I wish they would fix it. Come to think of it, I wonder how that's going to work for, for the uh, surveyor, actually. Hmm. You know what? I've only just realized this now. How is this going to work when the, uh, when the surveyor comes? Hmm. Because if that glitch persists in the uh, in the surveyor, it's basically going to make it impossible to make your own session. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I guess now I may as well talk about some random things since now we're just kind of just moving along here. Not much to say now. Oh, it's actually a pretty cool view here. Yes, it is six o'clock, so the sun is rising up now. I suppose you can now see what this main line looks like with an early morning setting, because when I drove here with the Amtrak train, it was more like a late, late, later morning setting. There's a train. Another ES44 C4, or two of them. There you go. On the default box cars. Yeah. And by the way, those box cars you saw there, those are included in the default game. Yep, yeah, not a lot to say, actually. We're just kind of just rolling along. I guess the route itself is kind of barren, which I guess does make sense for the setting of that this route is in. Um, I actually, um, 
watched the beginning of my video from uh, from last year, and yeah, this spot was actually based in uh, in Wyoming, or generally the West Coast. Uh, which does look like this. Although one downside of that is that there's not much to look at. Yeah, I've just realized this now. There's something that I could have done which would have been interesting. What if I decoupled the look, like these two, these front two look motives here, like so. And I just took the hoppers to the iron ore mine. And then after loading up all the iron ore, we then use the shunter to bring these cars back to the main yard at Harper's, Harper's Rest. And then we use these locomotives to take these cars onto the steel mill. Hmm. Well, that would have worked. Oh, well, I'm sure the SW10 and SC4-2 in this route will get their just dues. Just gotta wait till whenever we get the surveyor. Oh, by the way, um, no update on this on the uh, surveyor. By the way, um, yeah, yeah. As of now, the like I said, the most recent update to the surveyor is still from back in January when they said, um, you know, shouldn't be too far away. Well, we're now into the month of May, and yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm expecting the survey to come out at some point during the summertime, like maybe sometime in like June, July, or August. I think after that, though, we're gonna we are gonna have to start pressing in 3V to give us a more recent update to the survey or your trains too. I mean, trains three. Like, as far as we know, they are working on the survey now here in Train 3, but as for when it's coming, no idea. <laughs> That's probably why they said shouldn't be too far away, because, you know, shouldn't be too far away still is only really a vague uh, estimation of when it's coming. You know. Um, yeah. Alright, well, where are we at now? Um. Oh, we're actually going through the other uh, loop pretty soon. Yeah. I actually remember this part from the, uh, from the uh, Amtrak video. Yeah. Oh, we're going to 30? Why? I don't want to go slow, though. Mrah. Yeah, I'm trying to just thaw now to actually get to a certain level. I don't want to go too slow here, though. Okay, 48, that should be fine. Okay, I'll run now away from the steel mill. That wreck's not too far away. For real this time. This video won't be too, too long. Wait, are we accelerating? Wait a second. I think the force from the trucks is actually trucks. Yeah, I said, I, yeah, I just said trucks. From the hopper cars are pushing us forward a little bit. In fact, now we're going a bit too slow. Come on. There's another train there. Another ES44 or C4. This time, though, pulling uh, the flatbeds with containers on them. How about that?
Wait, I thought it's a Bond one. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, there's a throwback. That's the one from uh, from Trains, or from the other Trains games. I actually looked at it in the, uh, in the, uh, what was it called? The, um, the Black Forest route in, uh, Trains 2. Okay, I don't want to go super slow through here, so I'm going to try to get as much above the speed limit as I can without getting a speeding penalty. Oh, here's this cool bridge. I was actually pretty amazed by this when we came through here with the uh, Amtrak video. Also, we're not going to slow down the time. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, surprise, we didn't get a speeding penalty. Oh. Good. But here's this trestle bridge, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, this part is awesome. Okay, maybe we'll throttle. Well, now I'm about to go through a tunnel. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. It's actually a pretty cool shot there. Oh, come on! I was just about to lower the speed limit. Balls. I think we're barely just, barely just celebrating here. Oh, come on. I suppose we were, going, we were going quite fast. Okay, can you let me have control again now? Come on, train. Nope, still can't take back control yet. Finally. But yeah, I tell you, I was not expecting the, um... Harper cars to push us forward like that. Oh, that... That doesn't normally happen in easy mode, though. That is very... Very bizarre, actually. Okay, I'm gonna speed it again. I'm gonna try not to go over the speed of... Okay, there's a 45 coming, but I don't wanna... Wait till then. There we go. Yeah. Okay, don't speed this time. Okay, 38. No, oh, come on. Okay, 70 is... Go a little bit more than actually. Yeah. All right. So thirty eight is the sweet spot. Nope. Never mind. You okay, know seventy. All right. Pretty long tunnel actually. Come on. Yeah, the 30 is mainly for this tunnel section here, but still, it's so slow. Rawr. Anything else happening in the world while we're kind of just going through here? No. Well, I think that's all the same in terms of uh, updates and things. Um, yeah, not much else to say, to be honest.
Um, but yeah, I knew about coming to train three soon. The uh, I guess the Altoona Yard thingamajig, which oh, I'll take that out the uh, the next Sunday after it comes out. I think I'm actually, it's probably gonna come out next week actually, because they because they did say in the server that's now days away. So um, yeah, so I'll be playing it. Well, not soon after it comes out. Um, I guess one thing I should mention, uh, actually, uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is um. One thing that I used to do, actually, with these trains, uh, trains three videos is when a new rod releases, I would essentially upload like as soon as I could. Um, I'm actually not going to be do that doing that anymore. Um, like if a new route releases uh, for trains three, then I just, then I'll just uh, make the video at the next available opportunity, pretty much, rather than do it like right after it comes out because um. um I, you know, it doesn't. I don't really get that much of a views increase per se. Um, like I actually waited a, a whole week actually to upload the video on the. Um, let's say upload the video. Well, I guess upload a video of the uh, of the Chicago Metro route. Um, or Mall Train Chicago route. I waited a whole week to do that one, and the video still performed really well. So even if the uh, even if I guess the new Altoona releases, you know, this weekend, actually who knows it might might even be already out by the time I upload this video, uh, I will review it um, next week. There's a pretty good shot as well, by the way. Okay, how far away from the steel mill then? We are. Oh. Oh, it's up there. Okay, now we still have a little bit further to go, actually. Wait, where are we going? Hang on. Eh? I don't know where we're going. That. Hmm. I thought we were going there to the, uh... I said go to the steel mill, but... Oh. Well, I didn't know we were driving most of the route today, but I guess we are. Get the speed now. Hmm. All right. So this is a pretty long scenario, actually. Yeah, we're going at this now for about nearly forty-five minutes. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind the long video. As a bridge, yes. That's a pretty cool bridge. There's actually there's actually some pretty. Uh, oh my goodness, there's there is actually some pretty cool assets here on this route. Um. Uh, can we get the survey soon, please? Come on. Oh, that's a yellow light coming up, actually. Hmm. Wonder why. Hmm. Man, I wish I knew how far away the steel mill is. I'm guessing it's up there. Oh, it is. Yeah, we're about to arrive at the steel mill. Which is funny, because we're about to arrive back where we started. This video, yeah, we were at the steel mill when I reviewed all the uh, rolling stock and everything. And now we're about to get back there. How about that? Alright, well, we're nearly there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this um I guess this revisit to the Yellowstone Mountain route. I've actually had this on my mind for a while to come back and redo this well, I say redo. I mean it's kind of a redo because you know, because the original review uh yeah, the original review didn't have like the most accurate sort of uh 
go into stock list. Although the video does still exist if you want to watch me drive this same locomotive on a different part of the route. And, uh, yeah. That being said, however, um, I might actually do another video on this route. Maybe, I don't know, depending on whenever the survey comes. And then sometime after that, uh, where we drive the SW10 on a more uh, comprehensive service rather than just do a shunting maneuver and then drive these things as the main rest of the journey. Alright, so uh we're going to 20. Let's actually see how good the brakes will be. Uh, not very good, actually. Oh, I guess it does make some sense. So we've got a pretty heavy train. Although we're still on time for that 20, though. Um, hmm. Oh, this is going to be close, actually. Uh-oh. Um, hang on. Suppression brakes. Oh, I really need to slow down. Oh, my goodness. We are not slowing down. Okay, emergency brake. Oh, I don't the speedometer. Yeah, oh, it's going way too fast. See, they might make a speed penalty, but... <laughs> yeah. Wow, I was not expecting to go the fast into this yard, but okay. Are we going to stop in time now? Okay, it looks like a big, heavy freight or something, but wow. Where are we stopping, by the way? Doesn't give us a stop marker yet. Okay, we are slowing down, though. What fast speed are we going now? Come on. 23, okay, we're almost there. Okay, we're gonna stop in time. Question is, where are we stopping? Hmm. That I don't know. We're at the Rockfield Steel Company. Oh, are we gonna unload the ore now? Hmm. Okay, we'll slow down. Okay, so we're not gonna get a full score in this scenario either, but. Oh well. Okay, now what? Oh, we're gonna unload the the hoppers next. But we're at a steel mill, so yeah, I think we are. Hmm. Okay. Freightliner. Yeah, there's an unloader coming up here. Oh, yeah, that's the unloader. Wait, is it? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, I think we're gonna be unloading the uh, the hopper cars here. So I think once again we should on slow down to five. All right, welcome to the steel mill. Actually, driving into another another section this road I haven't seen yet. So yeah, so we did drive on the main line there, but at least we did drive on other parts about that are new. So that's interesting. Okay, now that's too slow. Come on. Come on. Yo, cruise at nine. That was a conveyor belt. That's pretty cool. Dump truck. Okay, now slow down to five. No, I said now we'll slow down to five. Thank you. All right, here we are then. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's where we're gonna unload the uh, the iron ore now. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, unload all the wagons. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to um go with the message by the way. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to detach the. Uh... There we go. I was trying to detach my camera from the train, but yeah, it wants to unload all the wagons, which makes sense. All right, here we go then. Um, okay, how slow do you want me to go? Are we coming to a do we have to come to a complete stop for this? I thought we could do it while moving. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, what is this? Oh, I'm done. We're having oh, <laughs> this is the unloader. I am an idiot. Okay, now we're at the actual loader. Okay, you can go faster than this train. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah, this is where we're unloading all the uh, hopper cars. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm dumb. Now they're going and loading all the hoppers. I think after this, we will be done with the scenario. That looks pretty cool. Oh, sound a little bit. I don't know what's the maximum you can go over here and unload all the things. But I don't want to go too fast because I want to mess this up and then it takes even longer than it needs to. Because this scenario is already quite long and so is this video. <laughs> okay, nearly there. Five more to go. Four left. Oh, hang on. So with this guy. Why don't you want to unload? It's a little slow, but it hasn't unloaded it completely. one broken. Well, I guess we'll drive for now and come back to him later. Wait, what is this? None of the back ones want to unload now. What is this? Is it? I've already maxed out the uh, the output. I'm um, gonna have to uh, reverse back actually. Okay, we don't got any signals to worry about. Yeah, we're fine. I think I think I'm gonna have to back up and. Wait, what? Oh, there's another one up here. Hang on. Wait, there's another one up here. I've just realized. Oh, maybe I'll unload this one. Hang on, I didn't realize this. Is it gonna load now? Yes. Okay, good. I realize there's another one loaded right up here. Good. Alright, there we go then. We figured it out. This is where we're going to unload the remainder of the iron ore. Good. There we go. Alright, and that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's this for four to five stars. Okay, not a perfect score there, although I wish it would not kick us out immediately, but whatever. 
All right, well, there we go then. So that is another scenario completed here on the uh, Yellowstone Mountain route. Uh, I don't know when we'll return to this route, but we'll see what happens uh, in the future. Uh, but that's all for now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.